Hi, I'm Leon. I'm from Leon Britain Photography, based here in Liverpool. We do all sorts of photography, from headshots to portraits, weddings, etc. Today I'm chatting with my good friend Bob, who's also a photographer. Hi, Bob. Hi there. You alright? Yeah, not too bad. <laughs> I'm a Suffolk-based uh, headshot photographer, and this is my studio here in Bentwater, Suffolk. And today what we thought we'd do is, um, Leon and I have been talking and one of the things we always get asked by our customers is that we thought we'd um, just go through a few of the questions that they have said um, and start off with one of the questions is how long is the session? So I'll, I'll ask Leon that question first. Oh, okay. So it I think for me it depends on um, is it an individual that's looking for a single photograph? or is it somebody that's looking for a collection of photographs that forms like a bit of a bundle? Um, normally I allocate in the studio about two hours. Some shoots can take 45 minutes, some can be one hour and 59 minutes, um, but I think it depends on the person, how comfortable they are with posing um, and taking instruction. Um, but how about you, Bob? How long do yours take? I'm, I'm a very similar thing to you. I, fi I find, depending on what the client is and who they are, um, if they are professional and they only need a headshot for the LinkedIn, then it can be like 45 minutes. But sometimes um, if they want a variety of images or if it's a few people, then obviously the session takes longer. I normally say to my clients that I don't put a time limit on my um, sessions, so there's no pressure from me, but pretty much usually within an hour, an hour and a half, we're all done most times. See, I sometimes find that during the sessions as well, um, one of the other questions which, which I get asked up quite a bit is, can I see the pictures as we go along during the shoot? Do you, do you let them see the pictures as you're taking them? Well, I probably work pretty similar to you as well. I shoot tethered. So in the studio, I have a great big monitor on the wall. Um, so when the images actually come into the computer, rather than waiting to the end of the session to show the client, they actually come in on the, on, on the monitor. So it gives me a great reason to sort of talk about how they're working, how the pictures are coming out. Also, the client always feels a bit more comfortable when they first see the first image come through and they know everything's working. What about you? Yeah, I agree. I've actually got a, a large screen on the wall. So what we do is, um, for the first couple of shots, we, we stop and we discuss normally looking at the screen. What is it you don't like about your image? What is it you're not liking about yourself on the screen? Um, and once we've identified that, then we overcome those ways to, to hopefully get over those those issues that they discuss. But yeah, no, I, I show them the images as we go along. And at the end of the session, I also make a point of going through the full collection on the screen, just so they can see the bulk of what's predominantly going to be appearing in their proof gallery. So t t talking about the proof gallery, how long do you wait before your clients get to see the images? Right, okay. Well, on a... On a on it, well... It, on a, on, a, on a good session, um, um, I would say during a standard week, I'd probably say it's about 48 hours. Um, it can be quicker, um, but usually I say about 48 hours allows me enough time to go through the gallery and, and give them a private link so they can log in just for them at their own time at home. Do you do the same similar? Well, I, I, I'm exactly the same. Basically, um, so after the shoot, I'll go uh, back to the office, I will go through all the images and take out um, images that are basically Mine out of ten times, it's because they're blinking, um, so they're all gone. Um, so the client, you know, that's, so not showing a client name is no point. And then from there, it usually I would I would tell the client forty eight hours. But um, as soon as I've got the proofs ready, they go up to a, a, a gallery that has a password, and then I uh, basically ask the client to tell me which images they would like me to edit. Right, so okay. and then so, so once I've edited it, it's, it's, I usually. Uh, so I tell my clients it's two weeks from, from when they've chosen, not from when the shoot is, it's when they've chosen the edited images, which I think is quite important. What about yourself? Yeah, I, th I think it's pretty much the same. So once the client's made their final selection um, and we've sorted out invoicing and all that sort of stuff, um, I, I normally say about two weeks. Now, if we can do it quicker, we'll do it quicker, but it depends obviously on the volume of photos that they choose. And also it depends on the level of work, if any, that may need to go into making the picture get to the level that they want it to be at. So it depends what we've agreed in the session. Um, but yeah, I think ideally, um, if it can be quicker than two weeks, it's quicker than two weeks. But as a rule of thumb at the moment, I'd say 10 to 14 days is enough time to say that you're going to have your final images from the date of selection. As, as you said before, not from the date of the shoot, because sometimes it can take ooh, a couple of weeks before people have picked their, their images from the gallery. But... 
Yeah, and, so, and sometimes it can be 10 minutes. The quickest one I've had is, is 10 minutes. So, but you know, it, it, it depends how many images you need and what you're looking to achieve with them. Exactly, exactly. I'm, I'm exactly the same. So uh, that's the way I work. Well, to be fair, Bob, I think we've pretty much covered the basics. So the basics I. of what happens at a shoot. Um, and I'm sure we need to do this again. I'm sure we need well. to talk about this is rather yeah, good. Because there's that many topics that people have questions on when it comes to headshots and portraits. Like, what do I wear? And what, yes. what's, my, what's my beauty regime before I turn up for the shoots? How um, much editing do you do? Yeah, can you get rid of this, this and this? What's your, yeah. what's your, what's the other one I had last week? Your, your code of ethics with regards to editing? Um, yeah, there's all sorts of questions, but we can cover those again in another video if you want. Brilliant, looking forward to it. Excellent. Well, Bob, it's been my absolute pleasure talking to you. You're a star. And I'll speak to you again. Take care. Bye. Bye.